done here is put a distinctive mark on a lakeside home outside Knoxville, Tennessee. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So we've made it to phase three on the Smoky Mountain Showcase, and we sourced a couple of Knoxville's elite hardscapers to help us out with it. We're ready to get going on day one. Today we're starting the TriStar turnaround. Center stake will lead us around. We're gonna cut everything out, over excavate a couple feet, obviously. So we're gonna be bringing in some large boulders again, some large outcropping and cutting this back and building a couple terraces in order for us to start to excavate and get ready for the pavers. And you can see Chris has started to excavate everything for our open graded base. We're gonna put a layer of geo grid in to stabilize things. And then obviously sealing out the edge with our perm edge uh, paver restraint. We've designed and built a 40 foot diameter sick brick helipad. It not only serves as a helicopter landing spot, but a parking area and a turnaround for guests as it access the shoreline and the boat dock. This thing can not only support a helicopter, it can also support a Mack truck. We got 12 to 15 inches of open graded stone, foundation under here, geo grid layers to hold it in place. This is gonna stand the test of time. So the concept for this build came from the Tennessee state flag. On the Tennessee flag, there's three stars that represent the three divisions of Tennessee. So what we did here was abstract inlay of pavers to create that same theme that's on the flag. The three stars to me also signify the three phases of this massive project and the three contractors who helped take it on. The first thing we did was bring in a European inspired cobblestone for the main surface. We used Unilox Court Stone in the Belgian blue color to give us that blue from the Tennessee logo. We come out here with our Brussels XL in the limestone to give us that white banding. We then brought that same contrasting color from the border into these stars, and then we contrast that with the red from the town hall. So in order to get this space big enough for this helipad, we had to carve back this hill and put in some natural stone or some large boulders. We then leveled out the space above that. We brought in an industrial fire pit. Both of these walls are set on the same radius stake as we did when we built this circle. What a fun and exciting build. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. I gotta get to the next project. If you want to learn how to design and build epic projects like this, sign up now at hardscapementor.com and we'll take you to the next level.